Hey everybody, it's Laura. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week we are doing a plan with me for the week of Monday, June 8th through, what is it, like the 14th or something? Crazy. Why is time flying so fast and yet every day is just, I don't even know. <laughs> Um, I will show you last week's spread. Currently, it is Saturday. Um, this was from Pookie Bear Cuties, and it's really, really pretty. I like it even more than I liked it, like, just on paper. Like, after I added the foil and things, like, it's just so cute. Um, so, yeah, it's been... It's been a rough week, but my spread is really cute. <laughs> so like I said, it's currently Saturday. I haven't written anything in. Um, it was rainy this morning. It's super windy out. So if you can hear that, I apologize. If you can hear my air conditioning, I apologize. But that's just what we're working with today. I feel like you can't hear my air conditioning in the videos. Like maybe when it kicks off versus on. But I feel like you can't hear it running. So... We're going with it. Um, this week I am doing the Black Lives Matter Planner Spread Challenge um, and it's hosted by Queens Fancy Plans and Katie Did Plans which I will leave their Instagram information down below and basically they wrote um, that they created a, a planner community challenge to honor supporting black lives. Um, and it said, decorate your spread for the week of June 8th through the 14th in black and white only include uplifting quotes by inspiring black leaders. Um, and then there's a hashtag. So I will put that on my Instagram, obviously. Um, but this is the kit I chose. I only had two black and white kits, um, cause I couldn't like order one to get here in time. Um, but I had this one. Well, originally I thought I was going to use my Glam Planner Case of the Mondays because I thought that was the only black and white kit I had. But then I found this one as I was flipping through just like double checking and this is super pretty. So obviously you can see it has gold. The rest of the kit is just black and white and gray. Um, so I'm going to use the kit plus gold foil and I think it's going to be really stunning. So this is from Nicole Alexia Designs. I can't remember what it was called, um, but it's this beautiful smoky kind of background. I don't know what to call it exactly. Um, and then there's like additional gold foil, but then there's also just like gold printed on the paper um, in like this sparkle. So I don't know, it's so pretty. And then we have this page and then the boxes page. Look how many boxes and labels are on here. Like all these little tiny skinny ones, so many. And then we have this like washi littles I think these are header sized oh nope they're like different size washi strips oh yeah because I think you could buy the headers separately but I didn't pick them up and I'm glad I didn't pick them up because I'm using it in this spread or in this planner um instead of my big EC where I don't often need headers in here and then we have the washi here date covers, stuff like that. Super gorgeous. And then I have a bunch of other things pulled out. Um, oops. <laughs> I have this washi from Scribble Prints Co. I have my bows from Clever Gal Crafts. I have this floral decor, decor? Deco from Jackson Pepper, <laughs> um, which I think is perfect in gold foil. I have these beautiful um, foil icons from Nicole Alexia Designs on the black marble. And then this is like the selection of stuff I pulled out to work with um, for this spreads. So we're going to get started. I do need some little numbers because I've said before, like I could trim them, but it would be weird. And I know the number is already here, but like just leaving the circle blank is weird to me. <laughs> so I will put, I'll put some little numbers in there later. I might forget while I'm filming, but I'll put them in eventually. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is that challenge and I don't have any of my quotes picked out yet. I'm going to kind of have to see like um, how much room I have on each day because some of these days have more things than others to kind of see like how long of quotes I can fit in because I have a feeling if I leave like a whole section like this, I could actually fill the whole thing with a quote, which I think would be really nice. Um but I don't have any of that planned out because then I can kind of see like, oh, I have, you know, three days where I can have longer quotes and I don't know, two days 
where I can have, or I need shorter ones, or, you know, whatever the case might be. Um, so I'll kind of get a feel for it as I go. And, oh my god, it is so windy. Um, and we'll just play it by ear as, as the, the spread develops. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I had a really good night's sleep last night, which I think I needed. I've been pretty stressed in a different way than I've ever been stressed before with just, I don't know, like the exhaustion of uncertainty with COVID and I've been coughing so much recently that it's just... I'm like, what's going on with my health? <laughs> um, which can be really frustrating. And then, I don't know, um, the state of our country and like not, not being able to fix things. Like I like, <laughs> I like to fix things. And, ooh, this is gonna be tricky because I'm gonna want the foil part of the washi, so I'm gonna have to lay it this way. So that I'm trimming off the non-foiled part. Um, but yeah, I'm a fixer. And like, yes, I can do my part. And yes, there are steps I can do and take reasonable action. But at the same time, I feel in a way helpless that I cannot like actually create systemic change like overnight. <laughs> I guess. I don't know if that even makes sense, but I just struggle. So I'm trying to do what I can and control what I can. And I don't know. That's that, I guess. <laughs> um, it is weird also having something to look forward to. I haven't had anything to look forward to in months. And I sh I'm sure you feel the same way. Like oftentimes you're like looking forward to a trip or a vacation or seeing someone. And I just haven't <laughs> had any indication that any of those things were going to happen anytime soon. But now I'm going home in a few weeks so I actually am looking forward to that and it feels weird <laughs> I'm not gonna lie it's weird having something to look forward to but it's also really nice it feels hopeful even though nothing's really changing um my like return to work in the fall is still very uncertain and all of that sort of thing so I mean, not that I'm not going to return, but, like, what school is going to look like in the fall is what I mean. So, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I think it's also going to be interesting if my school is going to address anything as far as Black Lives Matter and, like, our trainings or anything like that. I'm very curious. Because I feel like they're not going to. And I hope I'm wrong. I always forget that she does that little piece on that side. I feel like most shops have it on the other side. Even though it makes sense. Because if you're putting this in the regular EC, it would be to the left. <laughs> um, man, that is some bold washi. And I feel like I maybe should have split the bows up. But I kind of wanted the main washi on the front page so there's that okay and then I'm also going to put this one in the middle here um, and I'll put the weekend banner up at the top like on the empty space up here for Saturday you guys it is so windy out that like my walls are shaking. It's kind of ridiculous. 
Now, do I do this to the end? I feel like I should do this to the end of the date covers because I feel like then I get the whole bow and it doesn't look as weird. Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right. Um, and I did pull out a weekend banner. Now, I don't know if I should just like slap it down <laughs> or should I like layer it over this little chunk? Um, that might actually just kind of be cute. Like just stick this in the middle. Let me get my tweezers. Yeah, just like a tiny bit of something behind it. Even though it's just sort of a square. I like it better than leaving it completely empty just because the weekend manner is kind of thin and scripty. If it was a little bit more bold, I think I would like it to be bigger or like to be more plain, but um, it's pretty little. That one's from Scribble Prince Co. So is this washi. I forgot to white out here. <laughs> So have you guys started on social distancing or social distancing socializing at all? I have not. I haven't gone anywhere. I haven't done anything. Um, but part of that is I am going home to my parents' house soon. And my dad is between surgeries. Oops. Um, so he needs to stay healthy for sure. So I don't want to bring anything home. Um... And I don't know, just haven't done anything. Okay. Mm. Let's do the foil. Oops, almost stuck those together. Um, and this is beautiful premium matte paper, by the way. Okay, I like that. And then, let's see, what do we have, nine full boxes? So, maybe I'll do a little layer action here. Um, I really love this one. like in the coil hopefully I can still turn my page okay yeah I might have to trim it a little bit we'll see <laughs> okay and then let me put another darker one just because the washi is kind of light so it helps them kind of pop compared to the washi like see this one with if you didn't have the black at the bottom it sort of just blends in and then here with the darker washi I can do some of these little bit lighter ones so let's do I think we'll do a layer on Friday. And then we'll do one on Saturday and one on Sunday. Um, okay. And you guys know me. I love my little angled boxes. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do this one that way. I normally tilt them both the same way, but just feeling kind of different. And then I was really confused up here because <laughs> I thought these were labels, but they're not cut. But I might use them as a label and put like a gold foil script on top of them or something. Like I feel like that would be really pretty. Like I said, I do have some of these common things that I use pulled out already. So this is from Sparrow Plans and I have a code for her shop down below if she is open. I can't remember if she's open right now or not, <laughs> um, but she has, these are from her like multicolor line, film edit upload in the black, um, 
and then I have my little plan next week. Um, I think we'll do it this way. Yeah. And then I'll white out. I always white out the second dot so it's only like one thing like that. Um, and then I'll put cleaning on Friday. I have this like, I should clean. Um, I got a lot of my scripts this week from the Glam Planner um, like binder system thing, if you know what I mean. Um, so trying those out a little bit. Okay, I don't exactly know how big this is to like see what it would fit in. Ooh, I think I want it in one of these. I think I'll put it here. Oops, that's maybe not. It's kind of long. Okay, we'll put I should clean. And then we'll layer an icon. So we'll put that here. And I'm sorry that I'm kind of working backwards. I'm just working from like what's on this paper. And then we'll revisit <laughs> everything everything else. So it's like a little mop bucket. Um, let's see. Laundry it's Tuesday. And again, I have this like larger script. So I'm thinking one of these boxes. I'm thinking one of these like third boxes. Actually, I might do, I'm going to do a half box because I also have like a little, well, I'll show you in a second. <laughs> Instead of trying to explain, did my power just shut off? It totally did. Oh no. Yeah, I totally just lost power, guys. Okay, so we have this little change sheets. Um, what you call it? Script and this little icon. So I feel like I'm gonna put the little icon here and then the little change sheets reminder there. Just cause not, I don't, yeah. If I mark laundry twice a week, I only change the sheets one of the two times, so I like to mark it. <laughs> Missed my virtual meeting. That's on Wednesday. Um, I think we'll take a third box for that. Oh my gosh. If you can't hear the wind right now, like, I'm honestly going to be shocked because it's so noisy and my like patio door is just like pulsing back and forth. Oh, my power came back on. I don't love the spacing of that. I wonder if I can get this computer up. I'm shocked at how easily that came up because this is premium mat on premium mat. Okay, that's better. All right, and then on Monday, I want to mark um, how many weeks, like a vacation countdown. And I have vacation countdown stickers, like I found some, but I only have silver... What do I have? Rose gold, silver, and hollow. I don't know why I don't have gold, unless it just wasn't available. And I could do silver, cause like there's a lot of gray in this kit, but um, what am I doing for my kit for? I mean, I guess because my kit for, my other, my regular Erin Condren is also gold foil. So I guess I could use these. I don't know. I 
don't know what to do. And now that seems big because this is just like a little tiny script. And I pulled out like just a little tiny icon. Um... Okay, maybe I'm just gonna leave the half box there and I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I think I'm gonna take these and I will mark it with this silver foil. And we're just gonna run with, run with it. Roll with the punches. So, um, I don't know where I want it though. Okay, and I have a little icon, and I'll just use an icon. I only pulled out one because I thought I was just going to mark, like, two weeks until vacation. But I guess I'll use these. I Hopefully it won't look weird. With silver and gold. I guess you can barely tell. Okay, so let me... Let me put these on here. gorgeous. This kit is stunning. I was so excited when I saw this in my collection. I was like, that is the perfect kit to use for this week. Perfection. Okay, so now we need to look at like my other <laughs> plans, what I have going on, what else I need to mark. So two weeks until vacation, we've got that. Laundry on Tuesday my training this training is going to be i've been talking about like we have a new learning management system um this one is going to be converting from our one of our old systems and how to like get that information onto our new one um and my other ones have been district trainings so this is just going to be like somebody from our school tech department training us um i have my plan next week um you guys saw this sticky note when I first had these pages open for my glam planner bill um, but I've actually skipped it for this month um, I purchased the summer mystery kit and I'm just trying to be really good about like I have so many kits you guys I'll link up here my kit video my kit haul I just have so many that I am not using them enough like even though I have two planners like I just still have so many kits I'm like okay Laura you bought the summer mystery you can skip a month of the sub and I'll probably skip a few months um, because I do have a lot of summer kits I'll probably bring it back for like fall like so maybe the August September time because I don't have a ton of fall actually that's not true I should just be quiet because I'm pretty sure I have a ton of fall kits also and I have a ton of Christmas already. Like, I just need to be good. Um, so this bill, because on the Glam Planner sub, you can actually skip instead of having to cancel, which is so nice because I have, one year she offered a coupon code for us, but if you cancel, you lose the coupon code. But if you just skip, like, it stays there. Um, so I get my sub a little bit cheaper. So I just skip them instead of canceling them because that's way smarter <laughs> um especially because you can skip as many times as you want so it's great I love I love that you can do that um okay film edit upload I've got I've got my tidy up on did I put that on Thursday I did all right well that was supposed to be Friday. We'll leave it on Thursday. It's not a big deal. <laughs> it's funny though. Um, film edit upload. Maybe I did mark everything I needed to mark. Well then, that's kind of awkward. 
because I thought I was going to have something else to write in. <laughs> okay. Well, I definitely have plenty of room for quotes then, um, which is really exciting because I don't really have a lot to write. And I was thinking maybe I would write the quotes up here, but then I decided I think this is just going to be too small for them um, because my handwriting is not super small and I just, I feel like it would be better to like spread them out through here. So I don't know how to do this. I don't know if I should go look them up now. I kind of want to do it like day by day. All right. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it day by day. I will post pictures on Instagram. Hey guys, interrupting my own self here. Um, I have decided that it would be remiss of me to not share my quotes on this video. So I was starting to look for like just you know, maybe Monday's quote, um, just to kind of get started. And then I was like, no, I need to look these all up and I need to share all of them because that is part of the point of this video. And yeah, so I found them all, found them all, and I have put them all in and I want to share them with you now. So Monday I wrote, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world by Nelson Mandela. Um, if you didn't know, I am a teacher. Um, a lot of my goal with educating myself and kind of where I can see making a difference is because I am an educator. I have conversations about race and racism with my students. Not regularly, um, but like it comes up. It definitely comes up. Um, and I definitely need a stronger education for myself to have those conversations be more powerful um, and to be able to better deal with things that happen in my own classroom. So I figured starting the week with a quote about education would be very powerful for myself. Um, and it is true. <laughs> All right, my next one is life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Um, by Martin Luther King Jr. So just a reminder to myself that like, that is part of my platform as well. Like, what am I doing to help others? What am I doing to better somebody else's life? The next quote I have says, Change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek by Barack Obama. Um, so again, like a reminder to myself, like we like white people have to be the change because we are the ones that have the privilege. Um, we are not the ones being oppressed or facing danger to stand up for these issues. So we have to make this change um, and be leaders in that area to actually affect change. Um, so I love this. Um, I also saw something recently like, um, oh, like when you were in history class, like did you, what did you think you would do during World War II and the Nazis and like, what are you doing right now? And I thought, and that, that's a really poor paraphrase, but um, it was good. Like I, I think all kids, like when they learn about horrors that the Nazis did to the Jews, it was like, well, what would you have done in that situation when you're facing, um, you know, persecution for being helpful or whatever the case might be? Like, what are you doing now? Especially if you're a white person, like you're not facing persecution and being harmed because you're standing up for somebody that doesn't have privilege. Um, so I don't know. What are you doing right now? <laughs> it's, it's powerful. I think it's really powerful. Um, and then it's when I printed out and you can see my printer is not very good. Um, and I just changed the black ink, so it's all streaky, but whatever the words are important. So it says equality is the heart and essence of democracy, freedom, and justice, equality of opportunity in industry, in labor unions, schools and colleges, government, politics, and before the law, there must be no dual standards of justice, no dual rights, privileges, duties, or responsibilities of citizenship 
no dual forms of freedom. And that was said by A. Philip Randolph. Um, this is like the heart of it for me. Like, it is excessively sad for the people and the families and the communities that lost individuals to police brutality or um, hate crimes or whatever the case might be. Um, but I think an even bigger change that needs to happen is on the systems level um, because that's where more change and more it's going to have a bigger impact, in my opinion. Um, so these these are the areas that need to be equal for all people. Um, and again, the schools and colleges, like that's where I feel like I can make a bigger difference um, because that is how I interact through the world um, or with the world and all of the people that are in my care on a day-to-day -day basis in my own classroom. Okay, so those are the quotes that I have for Monday through Thursday. And then I still want, um, I think I mentioned at the end of the video, <laughs> I don't know when. I'm all confused because I'm doing this after editing or during editing. Um, I still want to know your favorite or inspirational or motivational or whatever quotes um, by a black leader. So um, I want to add in like contributions from you guys. Um, so let me know again down below what you find motivational, inspirational, powerful, whatever the case may be, and I will fit it in somewhere here on the weekend days. Um, so let me know what yours are. So again, I had Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King Jr., Barack Obama, and A. Philip Randolph. So those are the people I have we need some women. Um, the people we've talked about so far, and I have room for a few more. Um, definitely on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they might need to be a little shorter. Um, but definitely Friday, I could use, you know, like a whole chunk um, to write a quote in. So let me know what you got down below. But yeah, back to the rest of the video. Awkward, I know. <laughs> but I think this is all I have to mark because I'm really boring. I will use other stuff. So like she has um, like lazy days, sleep in. I'll probably use those. I don't know if I'm gonna need groceries yet. I don't think so. Um, bills, I don't think I have any other bills because I skipped my glam planner. Um, I might use some of the icons like when I take the trash out. I'm sure like, you know, other videos that I'm working on, that kind of thing. I'm sure I'll use this. Oh, I like the little swoop right here. Um, so there's other stuff on here that I will get to use. I have a ton more boxes and like all of these like washi strip type boxes, things like this. So I will use a ton of this. I love this box too because it has a little gold strip on it. The last thing, if you guys are still here, thank you. Um, the last thing I want to talk about are these. <laughs> these are called these are called candy raisins and they are a candy from like my childhood like from where i grew up <laughs> a company used to make these and people are always like what i don't like raisins i'm like there's nothing raisin about them they got the name i think from this little like weird shape this wrinkly shape at the top um but they have the consistency of like dots candy like those little yeah red and green and blah 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 dots <laughs> But these taste like perfume, ginger, honey, lemon, sunshine, soap. Not really. They don't taste like soap to me. Um, I would say like ginger, lemon, honey, somewhere in that range. Sunshine is a good like, when people ask me, I'm like, they taste like sunshine. <laughs> And then they're like, what? <laughs> um, so this is just a really, really random, like, I've really been enjoying these because I bought a huge bag of them and they arrived the other day. Um, so I want to know, like, what weird food or candy or treat or something that, like, nobody else would have heard of unless it's, like, from your local area um, or something, like, from your childhood or something. So these are mine. These are candy raisins. 
Kringle is the other one, but Kringle is a little more popular now because Trader Joe's carries it. Um, so it's kind of spread further. Um, like I can get Kringle in Colorado and I never used to be able to. Um, because I can get it at Trader Joe's. So I want to know <laughs> what what weird food thing is in your life that other people need to know about. Or it could be a recipe, like some weird recipe or some combo of food that you eat that is just very unique. So <laughs> leave that down below. Um, also leave your favorite quote from a black leader down below if you have one or if you are also doing this challenge and you found one that you didn't necessarily know you had before. And... Yeah, um, hit the subscribe button on your way out if you have not already. If you have, thank you very much. And I hope you guys have a great week. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.